Good rolling. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Here's Grant. He feeds it to Roten. Hornets with the rebound. Jefferson's got his sixth rebound on the night. And the dunk by Batum. I like the fact he had his head up immediately looking to make the dish down the floor. Get rid of it quickly. Here's Stauskas. He has six. Here's Roten. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And then those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Batum attacking. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. For Charlotte, they have missed more than they've made at the foul line tonight. Three of seven. So both teams making some changes here. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Wow. Boy, they just can't seem to catch a break at the line here in the second half. But you know what? I think it's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's how you take the steal and turn it into a transition opportunity. I think that's the perfect time to do it, Greg. I mean, those few seconds after the turnover, strike right away because the defense has no chance to get organized. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Philadelphia ahead, delivering the blowout. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know. And Philadelphia has possession. We've got Joel Embiid. Jackson is out there with Tony Roten. And it's Aldemir in at the four slot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Embiid comes with a double team. Dishes it to Hansbrough. The shot by Kaminsky. Nobody around. Cans the shot from the wing. Philadelphia's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. And that one's good. Roten. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Lynn with it. And Roten picks him up defensively. Hansborough misses. 76ers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Here's MB. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Feeds to Hairston. Here's Hansbrough, off target at the rim. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And Embiid bumps it down. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. <laughs> and there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. But again, it's just one game, but nonetheless, a very impressive one the way they've handled their business here. 76ers have gone an outstanding 4-5 of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. The drive by Jackson. He kicks it to Embiid. The feed to Roten. Shoots a three. The rebound by Hansborough. For Charlotte, they've gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. You cannot leave him alone like that, especially from long range. Jackson passes to Aldemir. Shoots from the right block, and no good. Trying to use the glass. Charlotte has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. That was really a gift there. A nice steal, but probably a pass that shouldn't have been made in the first place. Really a good job recognizing the mismatch. Just going up for the shot with that huge height advantage on that possession. Outside, Lynn. Poked away. Well, that would have been lucky had it fallen. Poor shot selection. Yeah, look at the coach's face and the expression. It says all over it. Are you kidding me? No good. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. You don't want your best shooter even up that shot. Exactly. Even the top three-point specialist in the league would probably catch heat for taking that shot. 
Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, and usually when a team goes on a run like this, it's because they are getting too many opportunities on the inside. Make them beat you from deep. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. No good from Hairston. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 14-5 run here. And that is good. And that's 15 points for Roten. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfect. Hansborough, that's good. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Then some solid looks for them. Roten, no good. The Hornets shooting in this fourth quarter, pretty dire. Higher at 27%. And beat inside. And the dunk to finish it off. Ah, beauty. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's what we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they can stretch this lead out. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Thompson misses. And not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you. I agree with you. I mean, not the shot they were hoping for, but he can really cause problems with his defense. From 13, some solid defense from Kid Gilchrist. Charlotte has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Hairston kicks to Kid Gilchrist. And nothing but hair on that one. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Well, the defenders have to make sure they tag it. And a sudden flurry of fast break activity. They've been racing up and down the court. Ten straight points in transition. The defense is backpedaling and reeling right now. Impressed with the pace they've been keeping, really getting up and down the floor. Yeah, they really have done a nice job. I agree. Five of their last baskets have come on the fast break. But he recovers it. Williams, that's a two-pointer. Offensive rebound. Kaminsky, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. They have a little extra mojo going here, a little extra pep in their step, more hustle in this second half. They're doing a much better job in terms of second chance points. And Carl Landry picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Here's Kaminsky. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Well, they're trailing here, but you got to admire how hard they're playing. I mean, that kind of effort is a winning effort. They're working the ball inside and trying to do what they can to get back in. And now, defensively, 10 straight points resulting from fast breaks. Fellas, this is really getting ridiculous. I mean, you can't be so distracted that you fail to protect your own basket. Here's Cannon using his post move to get the two points. Cannon's got 14 points now in the second half. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. Williams outside. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Great unspoken communication between teammates leading to the nice assist and the easy score. Landry kicks to Cannon. To the middle. Here's Okafor, and he makes good on the layup. Seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off for them during the run. Hornets shooting just 31% in the game. In the corner, it's Kid Gilchrist looking to end the run. The shot is off. And Philadelphia the other way now. Covington kicks to Landry. 
Here's Cannon. And it doesn't even draw iron. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. And still, these squirrels, boy, they can use just a little bit of help from them. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And that's why they're on this run. You get that. Oh! Wow, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Kevin. Oh. That was special. My goodness. That was almost a circus-like dunk. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. And they just keep finding the open man. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. And Landry throws it down. That's the epitome of teamwork right there, Kevin, on the alley-oop. Clark, what about the finish? Bring her down with some thunder. Yeah, lightning, yeah. too. But, guys, the pass for me, <laughs> even better. He absolutely put that on a platter for him. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Jefferson's checked in for Kaminsky. Zeller comes in for Marvin Williams. Lamb is checked in for Hairston. And Walker subbed in for Brian Roberts. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a golly win for the 76ers. And the big difference here was accuracy behind the three-point line, Clark. Well, they started spraying them from deep, and then it spread out the defense, and they had all the looks they want. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Thompson. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. And it's Okafor off the drive. You know, even though he's bite-sized compared to the big man on the floor, he's done some really tall work on the boards. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Just too much of a deficit to overcome. Just not enough clicks and ticks left on that clock in this one, Greg. Lamb dishes to Zella. Here's Cannon. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Charlotte ball. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Takes the three. Hornets keep it alive. Tough play underneath to give them another shot. Jefferson, that's good. Icing on the cake right there, fellas, for what has been just a phenomenal performance. Greg, if it's pound cake or straw 